It's E from Fusion Food Blog, and today I will make a Chinese fusion food fusion between the Western Chinese dish and Sichuan dish. And it's called a Da Pan Ji, which means a chicken in a huge plate. It will be the most famous dish when I was in uni in China. And、uh, it's huge, so usually you have to share with another person. And、uh, it includes everything: veggie, potatoes, and noodles. So you just need to order one dish, and it's enough for everybody. The reason why it's so popular because it's mixture of different spices from these two regions. So it has this. Um, Sichuan chili peppercorns and dou ban jiang, which is spicy, and also this creaming powder and beer is from western part of China. We、we'll、need a chicken, which is over one kilogram. And here I have a huge chicken from France. It's about one half kilogram, and we have to cut this to small pieces in order to cook it. And you can see on my table, I have so many ingredients for this recipe. Also, make some pork noodle.、Uh, we are going to put it in the big plain chicken later to cook this、um, recipe. And just give me lots of memories. Because I had this in China, many different recipes out there. I'm just making a variation. Use beer. And I think it's a more authentic recipe anyway. So you can see here for this recipe, I have some dou ban jiang, which is a typical Sichuan、uh, sauce. The reason why、uh, this dish has dou ban jiang because the creator is actually originally from Sichuan province. And went to、uh, western part of China, which called Xinjiang, and invented this dish. We also have a typical western ingredients, western part of China ingredients, is cumin powder, and we have lots of dry chilies,、uh, Sichuan chili peppercorns, some bay leaves dried, some star anise, maybe four or three pieces, ginger and garlic. You can use more or less garlic if you like. And here we have some leeks. I cut to small pieces. The important ingredients is a、uh, pointy pepper, and you can use different color. You can use red, green, or yellow. And this is just my my personal preferences. I like to use、uh, coriander to decorate it in the end. And、uh, potato, and this is like a, a bit more soft potato instead of those crispy, crunchy potatoes. And then you wash them, clean them, and cut them to so chunky pieces. Because we're going to cook this for thirty、um, minutes to an hour. If you cut it too small, and the potato will melt. So all we want here is to cut our chicken to bite sizes. And here you can see I bought a. Chicken from Frankai and、um, so France, and this is a chicken feed on、um, corns, so their skin are kind of yellow. And、um, it's tied up perfectly, but like、uh, all Chinese dishes, we have to chop it to smaller pieces. And try not to cut your chicken too small because it will shrink once you cook it.、Um, okay, here is the chicken ass, and、uh, if you actually eat it, it really tastes a bit different. And、uh, I would like to cook it, but、uh, not necessarily eating it. You can see here we cut our whole chicken to bite sizes, or a bit bigger than bite sizes. And it's quite a lot of chicken. That's why it's called big play chicken because the amount is huge. And we really need a big pot to cook this. And、uh, I'm just going to use the pot to serve. But if you like, you can get a Big、um, a bowl to serve the whole dish because we're also gonna add potato and noodle in it, and in the end you're gonna get a huge dish. So here we're going to turn our stove on to high heat, and we're putting our chicken 
and adding some cold water to cover all our chicken. Adding a couple slices of ginger. Two tablespoons of uh, Chinese cooking wine. We're just going to bring this to boil. This will clean up our chicken, remove the blood and dirt on our chicken. You can see the forms coming out of the chicken, how much blood is in it. And we're going to wash our chicken again to remove all the dirt. Now our chicken is washed and cleaned. Definitely use a bit warm water instead of cold water because when you're, wash, uh, when you're cooking it, it the meat start relaxing and if you use cold water to wash it and the meat become tense again and it's hard to cook it later and here we have two cans of beer keep them in room temperature that's a tip as well because you want to cook it at the consistent temperature if you leave your beer in the fridge and adding uh, our cooked chicken it as well will drop the temperature so let's do it so first of all, we're going to use a bit of sugar to give our chicken nicely color and then turn our stove on to medium low heat and while this cooking we can add about one and a half tablespoon of sugar then we just need to wait until our sugar syrup become bubbly now you can see our sugar is melting now it's getting bigger bubbles lots of big bubbles and now it start forming small bubbles we can put our chicken in just let our chicken to coat this nicely sugar color now you can see our chicken it's getting dry, there's not much liquid on the bottom of the pan then we can just take our chicken out and uh, wash our pan to stir fry our spices now you can see our finished chicken really a golden brown color because it's the sugar and also it's um, if you smell a bit of burning taste because of sugar so don't worry but uh, be careful keep the stove on low heat so you're not going to burn the chicken and it would taste bitter later if it's overly cooked and now we can fry our spices and turn our stove to medium low heat two tablespoons of vegetable oil so now we can put in our dried chili uh, star onions bay leaves and uh, Sichuan chili peppercorns kind of stir fry them on low heat to get the fragrant out it doesn't take too long then we can add our um, dou ban jiang so I'll use about two tablespoons So we are frying this to get the fragrance out. You will see uh, gradually getting red the oil from the dou ban jiang. Once you can see the red color out of the sauce, then we are adding our chicken. Stir it a little bit because the last chance you could stir the chicken really. Now we are going to add in our beer. So I guess it, you really want to cover your chicken with beer. So if one can is not enough, just put in the second can. And here one, it's about enough. Okay, if you don't have beer, you can also maybe use Chinese um, rice wine or rice liquor and use uh, warm water to cook it but beer is more authentic ok 
Okay, so we are just going to let it cook for about 20 to 30 minutes. And uh, after that, we can put in our other ingredients. And once the sauce is reduced too much, you can add a second can of beer just to keep it um, nicely covered. Now after 20 minutes, our potatoes should be soft. So we're just going to use a chopstick to test it. If you poke it and it's easily going through, see like this one, then it's probably cooked like this one. And now we can put in our leek. Just put it on top. So try to break it. So we want a bit of the green parts, a bit of the white parts. Okay. And then our coriander. Also just put on top. And now our cumin powder. You can also put this beforehand, um, but I like to put it at the end so it has more flavor. So I would say about two tablespoons. So now our big plate chicken da pan ji is ready. So here you can see our big plate chicken and uh, it has still have lots of sauce in it and uh, here our pepper is getting soft and with lots of veggie on top and usually you eat this so you eat the potato the chicken first and once you finish about half and you tell the uh, shop at the restaurant owner saying I want some noodles and they're gonna give you these So these are the poor noodle. I'm getting better and better with making these so you're Getting a making a dough. It's a pretty easy dough with um, uh, With water salt and uh, flour and then with a bit of oil you have to rest it for like an hour and you try to pour it when it's difficult to pour you just uh, wait a little bit and try to put it again and then see and this time i could make this really thin and uh, i have a recipe it's a mukbang video on my youtube channel if you are interested you could also check that video out these are nicely done i'm really satisfied happy with the result. So here you can see my big plate chicken. I'll try the potato first because it's always the best part of this dish. I'll just get a small piece. And another trick is when you're putting the potato in, try not to stir it too often because the potato will break. soft and it absorbed all that flavor from the sauce the dough ban jiang mm. I'll try find a smaller piece of chicken if that's possible okay this one soft and juicy and can totally taste the beer in it and here is our poor noodle and I'm going to put in later so you wouldn't see it but just like basically like cooking noodle and then you're going to reheat the sauce and put in the noodle again to cook it if you liked this video, please give me a thumb up. Please leave your comments below. If you want to see more videos like this one, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And thanks for watching. See you next time.